All right, so welcome. Let's see, let's take a look at this uh, question. Okay, let's take a look at this question. So this question we have, the first one is three X minus one is equal to eight one. How do you solve such a question? So this is our first question. Whenever you have, uh, whenever you're dealing with exponential function, if you are multiplying numbers with the same base, if you're multiplying two exponential, uh, I mean, if two um, indices with the same base, um, let's say you have two there. If you're multiplying, it means that you have to add the powers. So if you're multiplying, you are adding the powers. Then if you are, uh, dividing, if you, uh, if you are dividing two indices with the same base, so you have um, three, then you have two down. So if you're dividing two indices with the same base, you simply do what? Subtract the powers. So this will also apply here. So if you are subtracting the powers here, it means that you have, um, okay. Okay, there are a lot of ways in which you can solve this. Uh, the one that I, I wanted to explain was a bit uh, long. Let me just go by the logarithmic um, uh, format. So the logarithmic format, uh, we're going to introduce lean or log on both sides. So if I introduce lean on this side, I'm going to have X minus one there. And then if I introduce lean this side, I'm going to have that. So what this means is that I'm going to drop down this. Remember what I said, the power can drop. Even in lean, it can drop. The same rules that applies on logarithms, they also apply on lean. So um, you can drop this. So if you want a video where I've explained the rules of, uh, of exponential functions and logarithmic functions, you can, you can simply just inbox me on any of these lines and then I'll send you the link to the video I explained properly step-by-step step, the rules to logarithms and exponential functions. So this power can drop there and we have X minus one there and then we remain with what? Lean three. And this is going to be equal to lean eight one. But eight one can also be written in terms of three as three to the power what? Can be written as three to the power because um, uh, we know to say uh, three times three gives us nine times three gives us 27 times three, it gives us eight one. So this would be three to the power four. So eight one can also be written as three to the power four. So this part um, will therefore be equal to, okay, let me just write it the way it is. And then we have lean three there. And then look at this part. This four can also drop down and come this side and come the, and become the coefficient of lean three. So we're going to have four lean three. So we can divide both sides by lean three, divide both sides by lean three. And this and that will go, this and that will go. And we're going to remain with X minus one is equal to four. So we can finish it um, up by taking this one to the other side of the equal sign so that we have X is equal to four minus uh, four plus one. And the value of X becomes what? Five. Yeah, so if you want, you can first start by splitting this using these two, using this rule here. Yeah, it will still give you the same answer. Okay, we move on to the next one. So the next one is eight to the power X is equal to four. So we can express eight in terms of two as two to the power three. Uh, but we still have this power x, then we have uh, this four, which can be expressed in terms of two as two to the power two. And uh, when you multiply this three and that x there, you have two to the power three x being equal to two to the power two. So just from here, if you want, you can write a statement down and say um, um, indices with the same base, or if the bases are equal, it means that the powers are also equal, meaning you can just say three X is equal to two, and then you divide by three, divide by three, and get your value of X as two over three. But the correct way of following this is by introducing log. You can either introduce lean or log. The answer is still going to be the same. So we can drop down this three after introducing the log so that we have three X there. 
and then we have log two, and then this is equal to log two. But of course, these two again will also have to drop down. So we have a two there, log two. Then we divide by log two on both sides, divide by log two on both sides. This and that will go, this and that will go. So that we just remain with three x is equal to two, which is just the same statement I had there. So this three x is equal to two can be divided on both sides. Oh, we divide by three on both sides so that we have x is equal to two over three. You see, you still get the same answer. So here you can either introduce log or lean, the answer will still give you the same, I mean, the answer will still be the same. Okay, we'll move on to part three. So the third one there is simple. It's e to the power x is equal to what? Uh, five. So we introduce lean. So when you have e, it's better you use lean. It's better you use lean. And the reason is simple. You, you, you will see the reason here. So we um, introduce lean on both sides. So we have lean x, lean e to the power x is equal to lean five. So we can drop down this x so that we have x lean e is equal to um, lean five. So lean e, remember I told you to say lean e is simply just the same as the, the special, lean e is simply just a special, I mean lean is simply just a special logarithm at the best e. So if we say lean e, it's just the same as lean e uh, with the best e. And anything that is in this format, we said it's equal to what? One. So lean e is just the same as one. So we say x times one is equal to lean five. And hence the value of x becomes what? Lean five. We move on to the other question. That is part four. So part four is negative 14 plus three e x is equal to 11. So this one is also simple. What do we do? We take negative 14 to the other side of the equal sign so that we have three e to the power x is equal to 11 plus 14. And this will be three e to the power x being equal to uh, 25. Is it 25? Yes, we're going to have 25. So when you divide by three, divide by three, the answer will be e to the power x. Yeah, the answer will be e to the power x is equal to 25 over three. And then when we introduce lean on both sides, this x will drop down. Yeah, so the x will drop down so that we have, um, so when the x drops down, we're going to have something like this. When the x drops down, we're going to have x lean e being equal to lean 25 over three. And, um, yeah, and um, this is what you're going to have. So lean E is equal to one. So the value of X becomes lean uh, 25 over three. So we proceed to the fifth question. So the fifth question here is negative six plus lean um, three X is equal to zero. So we take this negative six, the other side of the equal sign so that we have lean three X being equal to positive six. So lean, converting lean to exponential, you can first convert it to logarithmic so that um, you see what is going to be happening. So for you to understand, let me first take it to log. So we said um, lean A is simply just the same as log A base E. So lean 3x is just the same as log 3x base e, and this is equal to six. So we convert this to exponential. How do we convert it to exponential? It's very simple. So we leave the base as the base. So we have the base e, and this is the power. We say to the power six, this will be equal to 3x. So we make x the subject of the formula, so making x the subject of the formula, we divide by three on both sides so that we get e to the power six over three. But remember, e is a constant on the calculator, which is simply just equal to, um, so e on the calculator is simply just equal to 2.718. 
Yeah, so if you have a calculator, if you are allowed to use a calculator, you can simply find the value of this part. But if you are not allowed to use a calculator in an exam, then you, you can just leave it like this. It's okay. We move on to the next question. So the next question is log 3x plus 1 is equal to 2. So how do you solve this one? We first convert it to exponential. Uh, yeah, we, we first convert it to exponential. So we, remember what I said, any logarithm that has no base, it means that it's already in base 10. So this is the base. So we have two, I mean, we have 10 there as the base, then the power is two, and then we have 3x plus one. So 10 squared gives us what? 100, and this will be equal to 3x plus one. So we take this one to the other side of the equal sign. We're going to have 100 minus one, and this will be equal to 3x. Divide by three, divide by three, we're going to have, um, we're going to have 100 minus one is 99 over three is equal to this and that to cancel, we remain with x. So x is simply just equal to 33. We move on to the last question. So the last question is simply lean x uh, minus lean three is equal to four. Uh, I said, whenever you are subtracting in logarithms, you simply just divide what you have there. So we have lean, we divide x over three. This is equal to what? Four. So we can convert this to exponential. How do we do the conversion? So we can first convert it to log because we know that lean is just a special logarithm with the base e. And then we say this is equal to what? Four. So the base will still remain the base and this will be e to the power four. And then you are going to say this is equal to x to the power, I mean, x over three. And then once you have that, you can make x the subject by cross multiplying there. So x will, will therefore be equal to three times e to the power four. And it, e, like I said, is a constant on a calculator. It's just equal to, so e is equivalent to 2.71828 continues going like that. So you can, if you are allowed to use a calculator, you can simply, um, find the, the value of this. All right, so thank you very much for watching this video. Let's uh, join using the same link to finish up the other questions.